Welcome back to Vlogoween day 12. I realized that tomorrow, the day you're watching this, is Friday the 13th in October, which is pretty exciting. So I decided I would do something Halloween-y today. And in fact, I would really like to do Halloween and fall themed content for the rest of October. I figured today would be a good time to start all of the Halloween content because it is Friday the 13th when you're watching this. What I have planned today is to go through and basically do an unboxing of all of our old fall and Halloween decorations. And then in the future, go out and pick up some new things possibly make some new things and I can show you guys my process of that and maybe teach you how to make some of your own DIY Halloween and fall decorations. I will probably clean, I need to clean in the kitchen quite a bit because I have some baking ideas for you guys. Um, I actually have some pumpkin flavored goodies that I wanna make. Um, and fun fact, I don't eat sugar, or at least try to avoid it as much as possible, so we're gonna make some baked goods that are sugar-free, uh, gluten-free, low-carb, ketogenic, um, grain-free, and some are actually dairy-free as well. So uh, look forward to that. I know that's totally not the kind of content that's typically on my channel, but I thought that would be really fun and fall inspired and I'm definitely gonna have art alongside in those vlogs. So hopefully you guys will bear with me if you're not into the whole cooking baking thing. I love that with fall and this is a vlog and that's something that I'm excited about doing. So uh, lots of planning for more Halloween and fall content. I'm pretty excited and I should probably end this clip here because it's getting really long. So next I think we're gonna clean and and get set up for the Halloween decor unboxing. Hey guys, and welcome to my living room floor. So I thought this was kind of a good spot to unbox all of our previous year's Halloween decorations. It's not even, the lid isn't even on. It's never even got put away correctly. So I figured we would sit and kind of go through what we have collected over the years. Also, if you are wondering what this pile of boxes is, this is what's left over of the cat box castle that I created in a previous vlog. If I remember, I will link that up above and down below if you're interested in seeing a time lapse of how I put that together. It gives me an excuse to just leave trash lying around because it has a purpose. So let me try to show you guys. It's this clear bin that is overflowing just a little bit. I tried really hard to just have one box of Halloween and fall decorations. It doesn't quite fit, so instead of getting rid of things, I just piled it on top and then put it out in the garage for storage. First off, on top here, something that doesn't really fit, 
is this sort of fall um, garland kind of thing. And I think it's one of those really long uh, garlands you can buy at like Michael's. And what I did is I just sort of twisted it around into a wreath. It's a little DIY wreath for you. All right, so I really love lights. So not only for Christmas, but for Halloween. And so we have orange. I think it's a row of orange and a row of purple. Yep, that's that's gonna be fun to entangle. I'll make David do that. Next up, we have a bowl of ghosts. There's also some random sawdust in here because I couldn't fit everything in the box and didn't close it. Now it's dirty. So I think it was last year I bought these little ghosties from Dollar Tree. And then these little plastic kind of bag things that have the faces and some little gooey hands. I tied these up in our bush out front last year. And the cool thing is when it's a little windy, they kind of sway like little ghosties. When it's super windy, which it does get windy up here, uh, they just fall out and they look like trash, so that's not helpful. And I also got some of these little blow up ghosties. So these are just basically little plastic balloons with a little blow yuppie part. And yeah, a little, they're a little plumper. Um, probably also got this at uh, the Dollar Tree. You're gonna see a trend here. And along with that, um, some goopy blood that I also got from the Dollar Tree that we put on this frosted window that's right next to our front door. We also, I think, have a skeleton in here that I had um, peeking out the window so it looked like it was bleeding, which skeletons and blood, that, that makes perfect sense. And then I have this, so this bowl did have the uh, treats from last year. These little like sticker packs and there's like little plastic uh, glow-in-the-dark snakes and spider rings, some little clay sticky mustaches because that's fun. Things that are more like toys and things that you can get more use out of than just consuming sugar. Oh, and we also had glow stick bracelets, which I think we're gonna repurchase. These are obviously bad. Next off, uh, we have something, I don't think I've ever used these. I think these were gifted to me by an old roommate and one of the little guys is missing, but it's these little skeleton-y guys. I really love uh, skeletons for decorations for Halloween. Oh. Everything is tangled. This black netting um, that it's not like spider webs, but it's sort of like pirate shippy black netting. I don't know. So some black and gray. Uh, we like to put these over our lights at the front door to make it just a little creepier and shadowier. I have some more decorations from, you guessed it, the Dollar Tree. Uh, these little lanterns, so this is a little cat. A little skeleton. In our front yard, I got this uh, from, looks like the dollar spot at Target last year. Our house is sort of up on a hill away from the rest of the neighborhood. I wanted to make sure that kids knew, even if the lights are kind of dimmed, uh, they still know that they're retreating there. More lights. There's a couple of these kind of portrait frame things that change. There's this guy. And here's a couple of my paper skeleton-y guys. I think if I were to get something in the future, it would be a more permanent skeleton that is not paper that sort of folds in on himself. <laughs> another guy. Uh, another one of these guys. The camera recognizes the face, that's funny. We have some of these. I think I got these last year. Well, I think they flicker. Um, it's gonna be hard to see, but they sort of, here we go. Two of those. Another paper skeleton. It's kind of falling apart. More lights. So I have a black light that I think I got from a party store or Kmart. This is a little strobe light, so 
you can kind of see. I won't do it all the way. More of these little skeleton skull guys. They're actually pretty cute. And a fox mask because how, how could I not buy this? Tell You tell me, how could I not buy this? Exactly. Uh, although I will say, if any of you have been to Target and have seen their new like full head helmet masks that are different animals, I think they have a fox. Terrifying. I'm sorry, terrifying. No, just no. As I put this away, let's talk about what, what staples am I missing from this. It's not a great collection, honestly. I mean, I, I don't claim to be a super great Halloween decorator or fall decorator, although I do love fall decor, so it's kind of a bummer that I don't have better stuff. What do you think I'm missing? I think I definitely am good with the lights. Possibly some more garland leafy things. Vegetation in general, no surprises there. That's why this, this doesn't fit in the box. That's part of the problem. Maybe some nicer ghosties. Aside from candy and like money, what were your favorite things to get from houses? Or were those houses just awful because candy or bust? Am I awful for not giving candy out? I honestly don't, I don't care what you think. Again, let me know down below what you think I should invest in. I think I wanna have some sort of skeleton, more fall leafy stuff. All right, I think we're gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna get back to inking for Inktober. I am two days behind, but I have two penciled drawings to ink, so I think I'm gonna just sit down and work on those. All right, guys, I'm gonna get to work. get up and turn the lights on. It's like everything's moving. So the sun is going down and I'm trying to get the last little bit of daylight to end the vlog. I have just been sitting here and you've been seeing me work on my lemur piece. I think he's just about done. And for the last half hour or so, I've been working on my chameleon and I'm hoping I can sketch out my piece for tomorrow, which will be a skunk. Almost caught up. I hope you enjoyed my Halloween slash fall unboxing in this video. Now we know what we're on the lookout for when we go shopping for new decorations. Happy Friday the 13th for all of you guys watching this the day it comes out. I'm looking forward to putting together some more Halloween and fall autumn-y content for you for the rest of the month. I also really wanna to try to make sure that I have some sort of inking or drawing or more artsy related content since this is an art channel and I don't want to 
discourage anyone who is here thinking they're getting random content. <laughs> Just to let you know, I will have some sort of art content in those videos as well. All right, I'm gonna sign off as always. I hope you guys have had a creatively fulfilled day and are enjoying this week so far. We are getting close to the weekend, which is exciting. And I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.